Wow. I can see that you're feeling better. Which is exactly why they should let me out of here. You know, they're going to sedate you if you're throwing bedpans. Lulu, I very politely asked for a cup of coffee. They brought me a bedpan. Shouldn't be that difficult to tell the difference. Well, they're doing the best that they can. They're completely overloaded with general hospital patients. Which is exactly why they should let me go. Call Alice, have her bring the car, a change of clothes, and martinis. She can drive us both home. Tracy, you can't go until a doctor says you're okay. <sighs> I survived the biotoxin. I escaped the fire. I endured a helicopter ride in a blizzard with gale force winds, and I just heaved a bedpan 15 feet. What else do they need to know? I guess you haven't heard from my dad, have you? What was your first clue? Took you long enough. Yeah, there was a line. The place is swamped. <laughs> and I'm not sure you should have any coffee in the first place. You know what? If the biotoxin right. and the fire didn't kill me, one cup of hospital coffee is not going to kill me. Oh, I take it back. You're mine now. Ugh. Caffeine is caffeine. So have you thought about what I said? Should I start making arrangements? You mean to leave the country? I'd be better off, Claudia. I probably would be, too. What, what about Lulu? We're gonna crash. It's inevitable, like I told you. It doesn't have to be. I mean, as much as I hate to say that, but as far as uh, me leaving the country, I might not have a choice. Is Sonny threatening you? No, actually, no. He's doing just the opposite, which is great. He's being incredibly decent to me, as he should be after what I did for him. I'm not liking the sound of this. I told Sonny that Daddy could walk. And that he shot Kate, and that Daddy's ultimate plan was to turn Jason against Sonny, get Sonny to kill Jason, and then Daddy was going to kill Sonny. And when did you tell him this? Tonight. Feels like a million years ago. Okay, Claudia, if this had gone wrong, our father could have killed you. And he still might. And nobody knows what happened to him, huh? Maybe our prayers have been answered, John, and he's burning in hell where he belongs. Still, that's one hell of a risk to take. So why don't you take the chance you're done with this? Uh, oh, cheers. I just, uh, you know, so he's my husband. Claudia, this marriage was supposed to be a means to an end. John, I married Sonny to help the family. You walked away, and it became increasingly clear to me, at least, that Sonny was going to beat Daddy at his own game, and I didn't want to be on the wrong side of that when it went down. So you saved Sonny's life by telling him the truth? I did what I had to do. And you expect him to be grateful? I was hoping my dad would show up during the fire, too. I knew he wouldn't show. He never does. <laughs> oh, my God. You are such a bad liar for a quarter main. My dad does show up when you need him sometimes. This just wasn't one of those times. I can't believe I tried to reach him. I even called that dive in Mexico. Never mind. I'm not going to talk about this with you. You know, my dad takes off all the time. He always has. There's no reason to try and figure out why. I guess all the progress we made meant nothing. Not to mention the numerous times he told me he loved me. Well, sometimes I think it's crazy to love anybody. Do you think you're a little young to be that cynical? I don't know, it's true. I mean, even when you try to stay together, things happen, and everything that you counted on and everything you thought was true, just all of a sudden, it isn't. Sonny respects what I did. He understands what it cost me and how much I was risking and he respects me in a, in a different way now. He understands me in a, in a new way, a good way. Okay, even if that's true, Claudia, how long do you think that's gonna last when Sonny finds out that we're the reason that his kid got shot? He doesn't have to find out if you keep your mouth shut. John, look, I spent my entire life paving the road for you to take over the Zakara organization and you didn't want it. You walked away. You didn't even want what I would give anything to have. So you have to understand that staying married to Sonny is the only way for me to have the kind of real power that I want. Connie, you can't keep that kind of secret forever. You just keep quiet. That's all I'm asking. 
You just keep quiet. Just let it ride, okay? So you're choosing to risk your life to be with Sonny Corinthos. You're accepting that you're gonna have to lie to him every second of every day under some delusion, some, some grand hope that he's actually gonna care for you, genuinely? Why would you do that? When you walked in, Sonny was on the verge of asking me for a divorce. Tell him you can have it. Maybe I don't want a divorce, John. I don't. You dream it then, Claudia. What, just because you're bailing on Lulu, I have to walk away from Sonny? I love Lulu, okay? But we don't stand a chance. Neither do you and Sonny because you and I put a son in a coma. We've kept it a secret this long. Too many people know, Claudia. It's only a matter of time Sonny and I have a chance, okay? Love will not be part of the equation, John. But I will have real power for the first time in my life. And people will know that we have something real because we stayed together even with Daddy out of the picture. What about Kate Howard? Huh? Think about it, Claudia. You think she's just gonna disappear? It's not that complicated. She knows the truth. She hates you. Sooner or later, she's gonna open her mouth. I'd like to speak to Claudia. Alone.